Hey everybody, Psychosaurus is here and welcome back to Age of Empires Online and today we're gonna do another elite quest, this time the Landholder Nuisance and personally I really like this quest it's not too difficult wait what? why are there... am I crazy? why are there two legendary chests? isn't it supposed to be just for one? I need to check that later. But okay, let's go. Yeah, I really like this quest. Makes you work a little bit fast, early, and can be a little bit difficult for a new player. But I think it's easy quest enough. Okay, let's get to work. So, what do you have to do here? So you see these. Three yellow bases surrounded by red enemy units. So you have to free those first and then reach the Zella, the, the green player, and save him as well. And the green one cannot lose its TC. So that's the whole point here. So as you can see, you free them, defeat the enemies, and the capital town, which is the green player, must arrive. That's the whole quest. Time challenge, that's the 15 minutes you have here. If you do that, the timer will stop, and then you just rescue the green one, and it won't go on for the other time challenge. And don't ask me why it's that way, it's just how it is in this game and that's pretty much it yeah yeah if if you let the timer pass down to 50 down to zero it will just fail both of them okay here we are focusing mainly on the military production here, so we need to be working fast, well, somewhat. If you free this one, it will help a lot. And yeah, once you free them, they will start sending their units. So as you can see, here are archer ranges, so they will start producing bowmen. Second base will go with Asabaras, and the third base will go with Spearman, and then the green one will send the rams okay, let's get upgrades let's get food oh i didn't you can see you have pretty okay amount of resources in your starting location, so you don't need to worry about it that much. And one thing that's worth mentioning, you cannot trade with the yellow ally, but the green one, and unfortunately that's pretty far away. So trading with that one, not really an option since it will take you quite a long time to get there ok let's focus on the wood now you can build houses can see like the units patrolling here to free the bases you just need to kill the patrolling units that's all you have to do so as you can see the first one is just infantry second one is worse one <laughs> with cavalry and some ranged Come on, over 
here. More wood covers. Back here. Yeah, so focus on countering these units. Then it should be fine if you can do it fast enough. Yeah, take, take your time, make sure you have army large enough to deal with those units because it's somewhat annoying. Preferably with counter units, so something like Speedman plus Slingers should be fine here. Unfortunately, I don't have those, <laughs> so I cannot do that. Better hurry up because on elite difficulty, this just the green can lose its TC quite easily, so can't afford that. Don't worry about them, they don't have their upgrade to convert faster. So, no need to be worried about them that much. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, destroy those towers. We need to destroy those as well. Something bad happens. That's you know you have to do all you have to do is just defeat the red player and you can see we got three of their TCs revealed. So that's all you have to do now. Let's destroy them. sending rams and pretty much if you just focus on one base green one can take out the other so that helps a little bit Okay, I cannot forget about treasure camps as well. <laughs> I need to remember about them. Now, how many is that? I think there's four in total. See, 
there is one over here to the left of the last yellow base. Restricted from anything, so you can just build whatever you like. Second camp is below the southern base of the red player. Easy to take. Third camp, so the eastern base. If you go to the east, or southeast, then I said it's right by the wall. Okay, the last camp is near the northern base, near the northern wall. Can't miss that one either. And that 
you get pretty easy quest, but might need a little bit of practice of your timings because you can see that the red one got really close. It doesn't look like it, but yeah, that, that small number of units can hurt that TC if they keep coming. Yeah, that's going down really fast. Okay, that's complete. We got all the treasure camps. So remember, one is to the west of the last yellow base, and then one near each of the red base. So that's four. Okay, let's go back for the rewards. And I'm confused about that second legendary chest here. I don't remember there being multiple legendary chests, but yeah, this one for now. Really good rewards, like almost 5000 coins. Really nice one to farm on. So if you're looking for some easier elite quest to farm on, this one is good. But obviously what you can expect at best are the epic items. Don't expect legendary items that often. So hey, use your units to counter the patrols around the yellow bases. Push towards the green one. Make sure the green one doesn't fall on repeatable, the normal repeatable version. It shouldn't be that hard but on elite you can see the red player can get in and destroy the stuff yeah you need to work a little bit faster there but yeah work fast it should be fine so yeah i hope you enjoyed this if you did press the like button make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already share this so people know that the elite quests are quite rewarding and I'll see you next time. Bye.